Attorney General Fares al rawi says the matter of decriminalization of marijuana must have the benefit of national consultation before it is legislated. Founder of the Caribbean Collective for Justice and the Caricom Herb Farmers Union, Nazma Muller, and a handful of supporters gathered outside the Parliament building on Friday. The marijuana advocate presented a petition with 10,000 signatures supporting the call for government to legalize marijuana. She delivered it to Prime Minister Dr. Keith Rowley. She also spoke briefly with the Attorney General. Last week at the post-cabinet media briefing, the Prime Minister said decriminalization of marijuana was not on the government's agenda. The Attorney General says, however, the matter is one that requires consultation not only at the cabinet level. Prime Minister about this and we expect to um, be able to advance a position of consultation because it's required if you look at any jurisdiction where this has happened you'll see that it begins with a consultative approach um, so i will certainly discuss the issue with the honorable prime minister and uh, obtain a directive on the position at the 39th intersessional meeting of caricom heads of government in jamaica earlier in july the Caricom Marijuana Commission recommended that legalizing marijuana could lead to economic benefits. Earlier this year, Antigua and Barbuda joined the likes of Jamaica, the Cayman Islands, Puerto Rico and Bermuda in decriminalizing the possession of small amounts of cannabis. A.G. al Rawi notes the other Caricom jurisdictions ensured that their justice systems were fixed first and says government is pursuing this approach. What have you seen? 102 people have accessed special procedures from the prisons. So you can't be having a conversation about a certain aspect of decriminalization if you're not treating with your criminal justice system.